Roles and Responsibilities of Teachers Everyone who comes into contact with children and their families has a role to play in safeguarding children. School staff is particularly important as they are in a position to identify concerns early and provide help for children to prevent concerns from escalating. Here are some roles and responsibilities of the teachers. 1. The head teacher and teachers must take up review of the safety within the campus regularly. 2. The school management and teachers must modify the existing physical infrastructure and teaching methodologies to meet the needs of all children, including children with special needs. This may include classroom organization, availability of study material for the children with special needs, in-service training of teachers in inclusive education, etc. 3. Teachers play an important role, both preventive and curative, in case of child abuse. The school should have a clear protocol to guide teachers about which situation needs assessment and intervention by a school counsellor and which one needs immediate intimation to higher authorities at school as well as to parents. 4. The school should also invite reputed mental health professionals to hold workshops for its students and teachers. 5. There should be zero tolerance for incidents relating to teachers coming to school in drunken or intoxicated condition. 6. No child should be subjected to any form of corporal punishment at any point of time in the schooling process. 7. Teachers and representatives from school management committee, child protection committee, panchayat or municipality need to be sensitized and trained to file a complaint if incidences of child labor come to their notice. 8. All teachers and other employees shall maintain a vigilant outlook and convey their apprehension or knowledge of sexual abuse of any student to the appropriate authority in the Navodaya Vidyalaya Samiti NVS at the earliest. 9. Age-appropriate communication strategies should be developed for the children and teachers should engage in dialogue with them to identify problems of bullying, intimidation or isolation. 10. Teachers should sensitize children on good touch, bad touch and POXO e-box. 11. Ministry of Home Affairs has given a standard operating procedure SOP for preventing and dealing with any terrorist attack on schools. School authorities may conduct the briefing of the teachers or students or staff as well as the drill as per this SOP. 12. The responsibility of tasting of the midday meals is with the teacher. The tasting of the food by a teacher just before serving is mandatory. The teacher is to maintain a record of tasting in a register. The principals of the schools have their part to play too. 1. Principals must develop a comprehensive school safety policy to look into all aspects of safety and security. 2. Specific roles must be allocated to different personnel and teachers. 3. Medical emergency response plans, anti-bullying policy, safety audits or assessments, disaster management, fire safety and first aid training etc. are some of the things principals should plan for. The entire school staff can contribute in creating a culture of safety in school, initiating safety practices through school newsletter, debates, quizzes, designing social curriculum to teach social and emotional skills, conflict resolution, self-management and responsible decision-making are just some of the ways of developing healthy and happy children who would eventually turn out to be responsible citizens of this country.